it's a girl. Again, again, and again. Recent scientific research shows that most turtles born in some hotter areas of the world are female. But why? The hatchlings are what we call um, temperature dependent on their gender. Unfortunately, our warmer climate and the climate change in our temperature has actually started to affect those hatchlings and we are finding less and less males in the population of our hatchlings, um, which could potentially lead to their eventual extinction if we don't have males to actually breed in the future. Sand temperature is a determining factor. If a turtle's egg incubate below 27.7 degrees Celsius, the turtle hatchlings will be male. But if they incubate above 31 degrees Celsius, they will be female, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And that's not the only issue affecting sea turtles. The two turtle hospitals CGTN visited for this story reported an increased presence of tumors in turtles. Betty Circleback is the manager of the Turtle Hospital in Marathon Key, Florida. There's a disease that affects primarily green sea turtles called fiber papillomatosis. Over 50% of the green sea turtle population in and around developed islands, so not just the Florida Keys, but we're talking Africa, Australia, Hawaii, parts of the Caribbean. It's a debilitating disease that covers um, not only soft tissue, but the eyes. And we're starting to see this internalized. So we're seeing internal tumors on the organs and in the bones that we can't treat. Zoo Miami just opened this facility. More hands are needed to help this endangered species. In both hospitals, they rescue and treat turtles struck by boats, entangled in fish lines, those that have ingested plastics and also perform surgery to remove the tumors. Some of the suggestions have been shading the nest, changing the sand, because um, the temperature of the nest is going to be affected not only by the, uh, the air temperature, by the color of the sand, the size of the grain of the sand, and how much uh, rain we get as well can affect those. But some of those ideas could have negative effects down the line. If you change the sand, researchers say that some turtles might not return to the beach they were born on, missing an important cue they rely on to come back. Now, in the meantime, experts are asking us, the public, to reduce our carbon footprint and hope the turtles can adapt to warmer coasts. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami.